Also tonight, more evidence of Americans they're voting with their feet and with their dollars as many families continue to bolt high tax blue states like New York and New Jersey, Illinois, Michigan, and California for low tax red states like Texas and Florida, Tennessee, the Carolinas. We've shown you over and over again the U-Haul index. It shows that California ranked last on the growth index and renting a U-Haul from California to Texas is over three times as expensive if you rent that same U-Haul from Texas to California. You're doing U-Haul a favor. And it's not only about taxes. In states like California, far-left lunacy continues to dominate the day. For example, L.A. County recently purchased a $20 million Manhattan Beach property that was returned to an African-American family as a form of reparations. And as one longtime New Yorker who moved to Florida writes in a new piece for FoxNews.com, the great majority of people who contact me are like us, full of gratitude and happiness that we got to sanity, to safety, to normalcy. By the way, uh, here with Reaction, the author of that piece, Carol Markowitz, <laughs> along with the Epic Times host, Larry Elder. Carol, uh, I read your piece. You left New York. You, wore, you had a lot of doubt. Uh, by the way, New York just adopted a new law. You can compost grandma, mom, and dad when they croak, and you can put them in there with the alfalfa and the composting, and you can, you can oh, grow your, your corn and your flowers next year using their dead body as compost. Um, so what is the difference between Florida and New York? <laughs> Well, I'm really glad to hear that because, you know, where else would we, what else would we, would we do with grandma? Um, the thing is that when you're living somewhere and you're thinking about whether you should get out, you should ask yourself if you're just saying, oh, things are bad, or if you're, th or if you're saying to yourself, things are crazy. And we got to where we were saying things were crazy. I was raised in Brooklyn. I grew up in 1980s Brooklyn where things were dangerous, but we didn't have to argue that crime existed. It wasn't like convincing people that, like, wow, murder's gotten really bad. But in the, in the time before we left New York City, we literally had to convince people that the crime rate was spiking. They didn't believe it. They thought crime was just a lie told to them by Fox News and the New York Post. I mean, it wasn't, and that's really where the city is right now. Larry, Carol's smart, and we're dumb. You're in California. I'm in New York. What's wrong with us? <laughs> Uh, that's a good question, John. But let me say something about this reparations thing. Uh, it's a piece of property called Bruce's Beach in an area called Manhattan Beach. And about 100 years ago, through eminent domain, uh, not just two parcels of property, which is what the Bruce's own, 30 parcels of property were, were acquired through eminent domain. Only five of them were blacks. So did the 25 whites who lost their property because of eminent domain get reparations, too? Furthermore, the two uh, primary uh, people in this story are the Bruce's. They were represented by a lawyer from the NAACP. Now, this is reparations. How many slaves uh, get lawyers to negotiate the, their, uh, the amount of money that they get uh, for, for payment? Uh, and finally, they were not chased out. Uh, they, most of them moved to other parts of Manhattan Beach. This was 100 years ago. What do current politicians have to do with what 100 years ago politicians did back then? And why should taxpayers today be on the hook for what they did back then? And finally, Sean, why don't you go to the original sin? California was once occupied by so-called indigenous peoples, then the Spaniards, then the Mexicans. Are we going to give California <laughs> back, to, back to Mexico? This is absurd. All a state um, can be well, is just in its own don't time. Give them any this ideas. is absolutely absurd. <laughs> when does it stop? Carol, real quick. <laughs> Don't give me any ideas. Yeah. I don't think Larry should give them any ideas because, That's true. you know, I think they're well, going to end up arguing that we should give them back to Mexico. You, so, you, you guys will love this. You know, I, I talked to my, there. I talk to my financial advisor once a year, once a year and it, they always say, whatever you do, don't die in New York. Now I have another reason, not just the, the inheritance tax. Uh, now I have to worry about my kids turning me into compost and, and growing a garden over me. I'm not so happy with that idea. <laughs> Um, anyway, thank you both. Carol, thank you. And of course, Larry, we love having you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.